has opened up slowly. Now, that could be either that she hasn't opened up that much previously, or it could be that Steven didn't pay attention to her previously. Now, that's an interesting facet, as we can take the earlier episodes as Steven not paying attention to different circumstances, which is an interesting perspective to take on things. So, I offer that to you. Oh my, one minute left. Uh, oh, boy, this is gonna go for three videos, isn't it? Okay. So, uh, I suppose I should mention Amethyst and Pearl, because while Pearl doesn't exactly seem, <coughs> well, a stereotype of anything else other than a neurotic mother, she has an interesting facet to her character, which is that she holds hidden resentment for both Greg and Steven, mostly because she had a very close relationship with Rose, which is quite something. And that resentment is visible, like it, is, it isn't blatant, it isn't obvious, it's more human than anything else that the gems do. Her resentment is very hidden, and I like that, and it's it is. It still is. Ex it exists there, but it is really quite frightening at some points. Mostly because she has, like, otherwise Pearl seems like a very caring mother towards Steven. However, at the same time, it feels like she kind of wishes him to be dead because, well, she it she in um Steven inadvertently you know, claimed Rose's life, even though Rose still lives on in him, but you know. <sighs> then Amethyst, which is against an interesting character, mostly in the way that she resembles a grown gem. She is very much like a parasite in the way that she was grown. Which is, like, that feels really wrong to say, but, you know, she that's true, she was grown. And that plays an important facet to her character. And it was shown in various stages that, like, once we rebuilt more about their character, every character's lines actually started making a lot more sense. In so many ways. Mostly in the way that, like, Garnet's future vision gave us more information on Amethyst's the fact that Amethyst was grown as a, like a parasite gave more information and gave a little more detail to a few sentences that they had said, uh, they had said, and also something about what Amethyst had said a few times, as well as her actions. Oh goodness gracious! So yeah. Apologies, been looking for half an hour now, non-stop. So yeah, I really do like that, as it was shown rather naturally, and it was still like, it's rather disturbing when it was shown. I really do like it, but it's a bit dark. Yeah, um, there's not much else to mention. However, I wish to mention specifically Connie and Lioness. I have theorized that Lion is some kind of reincarna reincarnation of Steven's mother, though more likely she, um, well, Steve, Rose grew the lion and stashed her weapons inside of it, but, you know, whatever, that's not explicitly stated yet, so whatever. I really do like Lion as he, she, it doesn't exactly feel like a plot device, and yet Lion feels like her, he's her, its own character. So, there's not much else to be said about Lion, but I do like him, her, it. And then Connie, who I absolutely adore, like, every, sh like, 
um, Connie and Steven, just they are they really play off of each other really well, and I absolutely love their like every episode with Connie is just like it's just an adrenaline shot to their brain. Like it's so adorable seeing them together as it does represent a natural relationship, shall we say. While at the same time it actually is like really adorable in a cartoony way and it still is believable and it's not really all that like it it isn't exactly maybe romantic because they are still children shall we say so you know but it does have that more than friends wipe to it which is not most blatantly overplayed there but it's very obvious there and it just makes it all the more adorable, so, yeah. Oh, well, before I leave you off, I will mention quickly how interesting the show's theming is. Mostly in the way that they do get a lot of mileage out of focusing on, well, some social issues. And they do offhandedly mention them, sometimes they don't even mention them. They are sometimes not even they are not even very apparent from the episodes. Yet at the same time the show does bring up a lot of interesting topics, at least tangentially show. Um they tangentially tangentially. I don't know how to say that. Whatever. As a tangent, they do bring up some topics that are interesting, and they discuss them very in an interesting manner, and they show perspectives of them, of the issue, of both sides of the issue, while not exactly being neutral, which is fine enough by me. I suppose um, the creators should actually sometimes enforce their own ideas, because, well, we need to get a perspective, or we don't, but it's easier that way. And it also is a game that goes into Steven's character, so that's just fine. <sighs> and there's a lot to be said about their very much um, romantic over theme that the show has. I feel it's really like good, and as a pansexual man myself, I don't really care all that much about, like, or rather... Actually, no. I don't care all that much about them. Well, lesbian space rocks. Like, it doesn't exactly. Well, evoke almost anything in me. But it still is, like, interesting to see it portrayed so, so very openly. While I am. I have in the commentaries purposefully avoided main, um, naming anything specifically because if it's not explicitly stated, I suppose it's better to stay as neutral as possible, even though. Some of the tones are very, very blatant, especially specifically with um, Ruby and Sapphire and Pearl and Rose. I feel like I, I don't want to uh, name them outright because it's not explicitly stated, but yeah, you know, the implications are there and I'm not denying that. As well as, well, there are a lot of other, like, the same. So, um, the overall theme of sexuality does play a rather interesting role in the show. Uh, in many, uh, in various forms, such as, shall we say, Garnet's attire, I mean, Garnet's overall character design, as well as Amethyst, they are both rather bodacious, rather interesting character design wise. But that being said, the show is definitely not perfect, very close to it. But as I mentioned in the very beginning of this long, well, actually this is not that long, just almost 40 minutes. As I mentioned in the beginning, like there are some things there, and there are certainly things to nitpick about the show. Um, but I still choose it as my favorite show, so, you know. And everybody is entitled to their, their own opinion, so... You know, <coughs> take it as you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been my opinion about the first season of Steven Universe. So I'm gonna 
I'll move on to the next season tomorrow. So I thank you all very much for watching. It has been my pleasure for you. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day and stay awesome. Gun move out. Thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope this was like specific enough. If not, like I'm willing to open conversations in the commentary, uh, in the comment section, because you know these are just my opinions. Thank you.